Hello and welcome to this short video about WSJF, Weighted Shortest Job First, a method to prioritize your backlog to sequence backlog items. I will tell you what it is and how to use it, briefly and clearly. My name is Dmitry Blinov. I'm an Agile coach and project management consultant. Let's begin. WSJF is a method for sequencing jobs, epic features, stories, tasks, improvements, any backlog items to gain maximum benefit to provide the best economic return. WSJF is calculated as the cost of delay divided by the job duration or its size. Cost of delay or COD is the money that will be lost by delaying or not doing a job for a period of time. For example, if a prospective feature would be worth a hundred thousand US dollars per month and there was a delay of three months, then the total COD would be 300,000 US dollars. A job that can deliver the most value maximum COD in the shortest duration produces the best economic return, ROI. Let's take three different jobs. A, cost 10 points of something and lasts for one period of something. B costs 3 points and lasts 3 periods of something. C costs 1 and lasts 10 points. And now let's consider two opposite sequences. A, B, C and C, B, A. The areas shaded in gray show the COD in each case. As you may see, the first results in 36 points of cost. And the second costs as much as 189. So doing the weighted shortest job first, delivers the best economic benefits. Let's look at the formula. WSJF is calculated as the cost of delay, COD, divided by the job duration or its size. But how do you calculate the COD? COD is a sum of user and business value, time criticality, effect on risk reduction and opportunity enablement. How should you calculate it? In what units? Determine the cost of delay in the actual monetary values for things that haven't ever been implemented yet can be challenging. Therefore, you may use a proxy value for COD and estimate the cost of the job relative to other jobs in the backlog. You may use the Fibonacci sequence, powers of two or other sequence as a scale for estimation. Let's discuss all three terms of COD. Term number one, client and business value. What is the value to the customer or business? Do our users prefer A over B? What is the impact on our income? Will we earn more money sooner? What is the impact on our expenses? If we delay, will it cause a potential single or regular penalties? Will the purchase price of something will increase? Will resources become more expensive? Term number two, time criticality. How does the client and business value decay over time? Is there a fixed deadline? The date we promised, marketing cycles, traditional holidays? Will our customers wait for us or will they move to our competitors or to another solution? Are there any milestones on the critical path impacted by this job? Will any more critical deadline be postponed and cause subsequent shifts? COD term number three, risk reduction and opportunity enablement value. Does it reduce the risk of this or future delivery? Will the information we can receive bring the value? What else does this for our business? Will this feature enable new business opportunities that were unable before? Thus, the formula becomes like this. The sum of client and business value, time criticality, risk reduction and opportunity enablement is divided by job size. To estimate quickly and with no accurate data on the actual evaluation of each task, as you might already do with user stories, estimate relatively and, as in planning poker, use a modified Fibonacci sequence. 
because it better reflects the level of uncertainty as the size increases. Compare the jobs one to another in the relative points. There is a procedure to calculate WSJF value. Let's go through it step by step. Step zero, write down all the jobs, arrange them in any order. One by one, sequentially, evaluate four parameters for all tasks, each of the three COD components and the size of the job. Not all four elements of the formula for the first item, then all four for the second and so on. Namely, start with the first element for all the tasks then the second element again for all the tasks and so on the further procedure consists of six consecutive steps let's look at the formula one more time the sum of client and business value time criticality risk reduction and opportunity enablement is divided by job size step one start by evaluating only the first term business value Choose the least valuable job in the list. Set it to 1. Then estimate other jobs relative to 1. How much more valuable are they? Fill in all, all the cells in the column, in this first column. Step 2. Go to the next column, time criticality. Choose the least time critical job. Set it to 1. This is another one within the frame of this particular column. It can be any job from the list. Then estimate other jobs relative to this new one. How much more time critical are they? Step number three. Go to the next column. Risk reduction and opportunity enablement. Choose the job that has the least impact on risks and opportunities. Set it to one. Again, this is another one. Another smallest value within the frame of this particular column. It can be any line you choose. Then estimate other jobs relative to this new one. To what extent do they have a stronger impact on other jobs and risks of the entire initiative? Step number four. Let's recall that the cost of delay is a sum of client and business value, time criticality, effect on risk reduction and opportunity enablement. Thus, you need to sum up the first three columns. Step 5. Go to the next column, the size of the job. Determine the job duration is quite difficult on early stages, when you don't yet know who is going to do the work and what capacity will the team be able to count on. Fortunately, job size is a good proxy for the duration. However, if you have good duration estimates, use them instead of the size. So, back to the list of backlog items. Choose the smallest job in the list. Set it to 1. And again, this is another 1 within the borders of this particular column. This one will be in the row with the easiest job. Then estimate other jobs relative to this one. How much larger are they than the selected one? Step 6, the final one. Now it is possible to calculate the priority. Divide the COD by the job size and fill in the last column. The greater the value in the last column, the higher the priority of the board. In the procedure considered, we used three composites of the COD and the size of the job. These are substitutes for money and time. If you have good monetary estimates of the COD, then use them as a numerator for all works. If you have good estimates of the duration of the work, then use them instead of the size of the work. In this case, you apply the idea of the cost of delay over time more properly. What are the benefits of the WSJF method? First, it provokes the splitting of large tasks into several smaller ones. Otherwise, big work elements will not be able to compete with small ones. They will have too big denominator. Thus, important but large jobs may never be started and finished. Second, it is not necessary to determine the absolute value of the cost of delay terms in money. 
which is a good thing because you may not know them at the moment of initial prioritization. Instead, you can evaluate each COED term in comparison with other tasks in the backlog. Third, relative estimation is done quickly and can be done at any time. There is no need to wait for accurate estimates of each job. Let's look at the formula one more time. The WSJF priority is calculated as the sum of client and business value, time criticality, risk reduction and opportunity enablement, divided by job size. Each of the four elements in the formula is calculated entirely for the whole list, for all work items in the list, one element after another, and regardless of the other elements in the formula. That's all I wanted to tell you about the WSJF backlog prioritization method, but I have a lot more to tell you about. If you like the format and the way I convey the information, please press the like button below, subscribe and leave a comment. That would be a nice way to say thank you and to encourage me to make more videos like this. Hope you enjoyed and gained some value. My name is Dmitry Blinov. See you in the next video.